is Alex from Leaf Eyes, and you're listening to the Great Metal Debate Podcast. The Warrior Longboats are coming back ashore with Leaf Eyes' seventh full length studio album, Sign of the Dragon Head. Produced through Germany's Master Sound Entertainment by Leaves Eyes' own Alex Kroll and Toso Bauer, this is the band's first full release featuring new singer Alina Sarala. Fans got a taste of her work via the 2016 EP Fires in the North, but this album gives a much fuller sampling of her skills and a better sense of what fans can expect from this new incarnation of Leaves Eyes. In brief, if you are an admirer of Leaves Eyes' previous catalog, you'll relish Sign of the Dragon Head. The album picks up musically where 2015's King of Kings left off with a similar production and lyrical themes. The mixture of styles and pacing from track to track makes this an eminently listenable album with haunting ballads such as Fairer Than the Sun segueing seamlessly into headbanging anthems like Shadows in the Night. Clocking in at just over 45 minutes, it's a balanced and well-conceived album from beginning to end. As a big fan of symphonic metal, I'm aware of the potential pitfalls this genre holds. Bands who are able to avoid recreating Nightwish's sound still can move so far into melodic territory that the music becomes indistinguishable from commercial hard rock. No worries here on either front, though. With their new album, Leaves Eyes maintains their own distinct sound, navigating the treacherous shoals of beauty versus beast vocals, folkish elements, Viking lyrical imagery, and big orchestrations. The band utilizes all these tools effectively in ways that never come off as derivative. Vocalist Alina Sarala's singing is quite impressive throughout Sign of the Dragon Head, her voice expressed with variety and heart. Alina's delivery is distinct from predecessor Liv Christine, but not so much that fans will see her addition as a radical retooling of the band's sound. Her voice gives extra punch to the Celtic-inspired pace of standout tracks Across the Sea, and Volva. As usual with Leaves Eyes, Alex Kroll's harsh vocals are used judiciously and in just the right places to give extra aggression and oomph. Like previous Leaves Eyes releases, folk sounds play a key role, but the band wisely meters them out with fiddles, pipes, choirs, and acoustic guitar nurturing rather than overwhelming the songs in which they appear. Riders on the Wind is a great example of this balance, providing the perfect meshing of sonic metal and folk kick. Kroll and Bauer did an impressive job in producing this album. The mix is clean and lively, making the music that much more exciting. This is a solid metal album, and one that I won't forget when considering the best for 2018 at the end of the year. This album is very consistent, and the only negative I might mention is that there's not any single track that leaps out as a must-hear classic, like the songs My Destiny or Hell to the Heavens from previous albums. However, with zero filler, no weak submissions here, and so much good material, Leaves Eyes will have a tough time determining which songs will represent this album on set lists. With Sign of the Dragon Head, Leaves Eyes further solidify their niche as one of the strongest symphonic metal bands going. 